Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. So today we are going to learn a new topic which are there are two topics to be learned today which are number one is verb plus ing second one is imperative. So what are those two? So let's look at before we start let's look at at our learning objective and also success criteria. So our objective of this lesson is pupils can complete two out of three exercises in the workbook using the imperative then and our success criteria is pupils can comment their preferences preference ni maksudnya minat ataupun uh, kesukaan awak of what they love yang awak suka hate tak suka and do not mind which means tak kisah so later i will tell you what to do with this all right so let's look at at our slide today so our topic the first one is verb plus ing do you still remember the present continuous tense yes after the helping verb or auxiliary verb the verb that follow must be in ing form or must be in present continuous form for example is walking is sleeping are having are going so i hope you still remember that one so but this one we just want to focus on the verb itself which means for example sleeping sleep will be sleeping run will be running sit will be sitting so let's look at the first part okay before that, let's look at, at this example. Number one, do you like, sorry, actually, do you prefer sitting on the sofa? Let me do the correction. Okay. Do you prefer sitting on the sofa or going up? So, if you notice, I bold the word sitting and also going. Why? Let me explain. But let's look at, at the second example. I like playing video games, but I also like going out. And the third one, I like running and swimming. So, if you notice, I have bold, sudah tebalkan, perkataan sitting, going, playing, going, running, and also swimming. So, there are, actually, there are five words. So, Remember, after the word prefer, this one, after the word prefer, after the word like, after the word like, and this one, you need to use verb plus ing. For example, do you prefer eating? Uh, so, I change here, become eating. On okay, eating breakfast or drinking milk. So remember, after the word prefer, here must be I N G. Same goes to the second one. After the word like, you should use verb plus I N G, which means the Best word here is playing. Perkataan dasar dia adalah play. You need to add ing and it will become playing. Same goes to like going, like running and swimming. I hope you understand this one. But let's look at, at the rules. Alright. So, number one. Rule number one. What form of verb comes after the, after the word like, prefer, hate and don't mind. So, after this word like prefer hate don't mind you should use ing do you understand for example i like sleeping second one i prefer sleeping i hate sleeping i don't mind sleeping so after this forward like prefer don't mind and also hate should use verb plus ing maksudnya kata kerja tambah ing dekat belakang for example watch menonton ataupun tengok 
I prefer watching. I prefer watch. Salah. I prefer watching. Betul. Do you understand? Alright. Second rule. What is the spelling of the ing forms of the verb? Uh, this one you need to add ing after this word. So the first one run becomes running. Number two sit becomes sitting. Swim becomes swimming. I hope you understand the first part. Very short, very easy, right? Okay. For your task, remember, you need to comment. You need to think first. Fikir dahulu. Think of one thing. Fikir satu benda that you love doing. For example, I love doing homework, for example. Uh, you need to comment at the comment section below, dekat bawah ni, dekat YouTube ni. Okay. For example, number one, you love doing. For example, I love doing homework. Number two, I don't mind doing house chores. Maksudnya, saya tak kisah membuat kerja rumah. And the third one, I hate doing unnecessary stuff. Uh, so, you need to comment. Yang pertama, apa yang awak suka. Nombor dua, apa yang awak tak kisah. Nombor tiga, apa yang awak tak suka ataupun apa yang awak benci. So, you need to comment these three on the comment section below. Remember, this is your task. Please comment so that I can take note who already done this task and who already didn't do this task. I hope you can do this task. Alright. Let's move on on to the second part. Very short. Imperative. Okay. For your information, imperative dalam bahasa Melayu adalah kata arahan ataupun kata suruhan. For example, pergi ke sana, tolong ambil ini, belok kanan, belok kiri, jalan terus. Ah, So, itu adalah kata arahan. In English, we call it as imperative. So, what is imperative actually? So, number one, let's look at example first. Number one, eat some snacks. Makan. Uh, snacks itu. Number two, wait for dinner. Number three, go to a doctor now. So, this three is positive imperative. Maksudnya, bukannya dia buat, disuruh buat benda baik. No. But, ayat dia positive. Which means, tak ada perkataan no. Remember, negative sentence is a sentence that has no. Yang ada perkataan no dalam ayat tu adalah negative sentence. Yang tak ada no adalah Positive sentence or affirmative sentence. Okay, number one. Eat some snack. So, eat itu adalah imperative. Eat is one of the example of imperative. Number two, wait, tunggu. Tunggu pun adalah imperative. Number three, go to a doctor now. Okay, so imperative, normally we start imperative at the beginning of the sentence. Maksudnya, mula-mula ayat. For example, do your homework. Maksudnya, do is imperative. Which means kata arahan. Right. Next one. Okay, let's look at, at the rules. Number one, imperative is used to give commands and orders. Ha, macam saya cakap tadi, untuk memberi arahan ataupun suruhan. Itu adalah imperative. Okay, remember the form of the verb. Use for imperative is the base form. Maksudnya, bentuk kata kerja yang kita guna tadi tu mestilah berada dalam perkataan dasar. Kata dasar. For example ni kan, eat some snack. Kita guna eat. Kita tak boleh guna eat. Kita tak boleh guna eating. Sebab apa? Sebab bila imperative sentence, verb mestilah berada dalam perkataan dasar ataupun root word. Okay, number three, example. For example, walk to the corner. Maksudnya, pergi dekat simpang sana. Turn right, belok kanan. Eat healthy food. Makan makanan yang sehat. And last one, don't drink fizzy drink. Maksudnya, jangan minum minuman berkaponat. Jadi, so if you notice, the example, the first one, walk is positive affirmative, positive imperative. Number two, turn right. Also positive imperative. The third one, eat healthy food. Also positive imperative. Last one, don't drink fizzy drink. 
This one negative imperative. Kenapa negative? Because ada anti here. Because ada not. So this one is negative imperative. Okay. Let's look at this one to make it more clear. Alright. The first one. Eat some snacks. Okay. This one is positive. So if you want to change it to negative, we just add don't. We just add at don't to make it negative imperative. For example, don't eat some snack. Ah, number two, wait for dinner is positive. How to make it negative? We just put don't. Don't wait for dinner. Same goes to the last one. Go to a doctor now. Don't go to a doctor now. I hope you understand how to make positive, positive imperative to negative imperative. All right. Okay. Let's do a bit of exercises. All right. This one. Complete the sentences with the affirmative and. Okay. So here, affirmative and negative. Remember, negative ada no. Ataupun ada and. So we need to write, we need to fill in the blanks with the correct verb. For example, best before August 2018. So this one, eat this. This part ni, I think this is a biscuit, biscuit kan? So we put eat. Remember, eat is imperative. Kata arahan ataupun kata suruhan. This one positive. Okay. Number two, visitors welcome. So this one, visit because of visitor welcome. So here we just write visit. All right. Okay. Number three, this one tengok ni lambang or logo tak boleh sebab ada merah dan juga cross ni kan. Okay. So not drinking water. So drink here. We need to make it to negative. We just add no or don't. So this one, the answer here is don't. Don't drink this water. All right. Number four, right here. So this one is, the answer here is go. So here is go. Remember, Imperative should be in the base form. Jangan pula awak tulis going. Salah. Sebab going to adalah present continuous form. Go is the base form or the root word. The base word or root word. Number five. Tourist information. So here is, kalau tourist ni basically tanya apa? Uh, tanya info kan? So kita tanya. So the answer here, here is ask. So we just write here. Ask questions here. Right. Last one. No ball game. Tengok. Maksudnya no. Tak boleh. Which means negative imperative. So here is play. We just write don't play football here. I hope you understand how to do this one. Right. Okay. So let's look at at this one, this is your homework. What you need to do, okay? You need to do or you need to complete exercise one, exercise two, and also exercise four. And with this one, no need to do why because this one we will discuss on the next class, inshallah, during Google Meet. So let's look at, at exercise one. Complete the sentences using ing form. So you just transform the base word into ing form. For example, watch become watching. Swimming become swimming. Very good. Do become becomes doing. Sit become sitting. So you need to complete this one. Okay. Let's look at, at exercise number two. Look at the table. 
write sentences with like, love, hate, or don't mind. Plus ing. Remember, after this word, should add ing. So, one, sorry, the cross mark ataupun lama pangkah maksudnya tak suka. Satu bintang, tak kisah. Dua bintang, suka. Tiga bintang, betul-betul suka ataupun cinta. Okay. So, Harry, the get up early, dia hanya tak kisah. Don't mind. So, Harry doesn't mind getting up early. Uh, so, this one, Megan, Megan and Hannah. Megan and Hannah, this one is hate. Hate getting up early. Number two, Harry. Okay, this one, cycle, right? So, love. So, Harry love cycling to school. Number three, Megan and Hannah. Okay, cycle to school. Don't mind. Megan and Hannah don't mind cycling to school. Alright, that's good. Okay, so you need to complete all of these seven questions. Number four, complete the text with using the affirmative or negative imperative. Remember, affirmative tak ada no, imperative ada no ataupun and don't, haven't, or doesn't. Okay. So, number one, always. Okay. Here is some important information for all of our students, our new students. Please read it carefully. So, read the Daguna. Okay. Number one, always where. Uh, so, here is where. So, you need to complete all the blanks, the part of the with the example. Oh, sorry. With the words from the box. I hope you understand what is your task of the day. Okay, so before we stop, let's look at again at this one. Just a quick summary. Remember, for verb plus ng, remember after the word prefer, hate, don't mind. Or like must follows with verb plus ing. Ada je perkataan ni, lepas tu mesti tambah lagi. Tentu. Okay. In, for imperative, imperative adalah kata arahan. And kata arahan mestilah dalam base form ataupun dalam kata dasar. Okay. I think that's all for this one for the lesson. I hope you understand. Don't forget to comment your preferences. So, don't forget to comment this one. What you love, what you don't mind, what you hate. You can relate this to your daily life. For example, I hate getting up early. Saya tak suka bangun pagi. I don't mind helping my mom. So, you need to write these three at the comment section. Bila tolong komen, apakah jawapan anda untuk video ini di bawah. Okay, I think that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again, insyaAllah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And